Hey, peace. What's going on, guys? Today, we're going to be taking a look at the N100 and a few tips and tricks. Okay, guys, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to activate the option where you can slide down in home settings. So long hold the screen and hit that option and then turn this one on where it says swipe down. So that way you can access your top notification panel. All right, guys, so another thing that might be irking your, your mind is when you hit the power button, you're getting the Google Assistant button. And you're like, why is it doing that? Why can't I turn the phone off? Well, just tap this button, which is the power button and the top volume rocker. And you're going to get that option where it says turn off phone, reset device, emergency or screenshot. Now, another thing that's pretty cool is when you're browsing through social media, you do get the option to take screenshots just by sliding three fingers across the screen. And um, it actually, you can do an expanded screenshot and it will actually scroll and get all of that information. Um, and then when you're done scrolling, you can just hit the screen and now you can take an expanded screenshot, which is kind of cool. Then you can go ahead, share it, draw on it, add text, or um, add anything you want, shapes and um, things of that nature. And then you could just hit this share option, which will allow you to get to anything that you do so desire. Now, another thing that's pretty cool is that if you just hit the volume rocker right here, you're gonna get your options here for not only the option for your phone's volume, but the notifications volume and your alarm volume. And then you can also go into the settings further by hitting this option. And then when you click here, it's gonna give you the option to access different Bluetooth uh, things that you have it paired to or speakers from directly from this option, I think, from that toggle from. So they've added, added some cool features here on this toggle. And I do believe there is an update on this device right now um, coming in, which will actually, let me just make sure. So let me just go to settings. And then in system, there is a system update which actually says that it's going to adjust some of the features for that those media input controls. So they've actually improved the imp optimization of the system stability and quick settings for mute and, and vibration as well. Now, another thing that's pretty cool is the customization on this device. Now go ahead and get some new wallpapers added to your device just by going long holding that option. They give you some options here. But messing around with it let's try this one set as, as wallpaper hit that one and then then i feel like that's pretty cool you have to hit the option at the top left hand corner the right hand corner and then it applies the new wallpaper now i have left adaptive brightness on my device which optimizes it when available light is ready but one of the things that you might want to do is go to ambient display and you can actually turn on the lift up display so whenever you turn that on, you can actually get your your notifications to show, contextual info as well as your name. So let me just show you what that looks like. So now I have my name, the clock, and things of that nature when I lift my device. And the time, date, and day. I think that's pretty cool. Now, another thing that's pretty cool, but sometimes annoying is getting to the dual window. So I'm going to show you with this device. All you have to do is click like a web browser. You could go to um, any website. Let's see, oneplus.com. And you can see, so I'm running on the 4G LTE. This is nice and smooth. You can get the newsletter. And you can see the N100 and the N10 on their website and the AT right now. So they have a, a nice variety of phones to choose from. Look at the price on this one. It's pretty crazy. But um, one of the things that you can do is enter dual screen mode by swiping up. So you wanna actually swipe up like that. And then at the top of the screen, you wanna click this option and then just hit split screen. And then it'll take you into the split screen window. So then you can operate two different things at once. And what's cool is that it actually lets you adjust it from the middle to the top, but not like anywhere you want, just either 
one quarter or halfway. But I think that's pretty cool. And then let's try the horizontal way. And it's it's dead center right now. So in, in the horizontal way, it only locks in from that one direction. So we do have live caption on here, which will allow you to see your text when things are playing on your screen or on your phone. And the quickest way to get to that is the volume option right here. And then you just click this button right here. And then that's pretty much it. You just click that option and it says right here, captions will appear when speech is detected on your device. And now another thing that's pretty cool about the N100 is that when you want to get to your, um, you know what I'm saying, your camera, you could actually, uh, you know, get to it with a double click. So let me just show you how that works. So all you would have to do is double click the power button right there. And then you get your camera really quickly. Now there are more than four, uh, four different ways to take a, stream, a screenshot on this device, but the fastest one would be either uh, with the three fingers or just the down button and the power button, which um, you have to do that at the same time. And then it takes a screenshot too. And then if you hit the top volume rocker and the power button like that, then you can actually take a screenshot from there as well. So that's the third way. Now, another thing that's pretty cool is the 90 Hertz refresh rate on this device. All right, so once you're in display, just hit advanced. Then you're gonna go to the 90 Hertz and make sure you have that turned on because you could always save more battery when you have it on 60. As well. Now, another thing that makes this phone feel really snappy is when you go into accessibility and you're gonna go basically into uh, that option in accessibility. Let me just show you. I think it's uh, going to be in system. And you go right here. And what you're going to do is just remove animations. And that actually makes the phone zip through a lot quicker, in my opinion. It just looks really quick. Now, is an another thing that's cool is getting the activation for the double tap to lock, because that's actually turned off by default. So what you want to do is hit that and then you can actually double tap to wake on this device as well. So I think that's another really cool feature. Now this device does have something called hidden space in case you wanted to hide something. Um, for whatever reason, you would just take two fingers and pinch up and then you would get to this part, part where it says hidden space. You can add like different apps and things of that nature and then when you get the notifications in, you can enable a password and things of that nature. But when you get notifications in, it'll block those so that the person that's next to you won't see what's happening around the around you. And for whatever reason, if you didn't want to have the Google feed there on the left hand side, you could easily long hold here and then just deactivate discovery so that when you go back in, it's just not going to be there. I guess it'll make the phone a little bit more zippy. Another feature that I like that on here that but that's not on the Google Pixel um, 4a, which I think it's going to come into that phone as well with the 11 Android 11. I think it got it already. I'm not sure. I haven't checked. I have to check but look right here, you can see it has screen recorder. So if you hit that option right here, um, you're going to get the option to uh, record on your screen. And so basically just hit that option right there. It's going to say you could always agree. And then basically when you want to, um, you know, record something on your screen and share it with somebody else, um, you can do so. So you can see right here, I could show like a, a highlight reel and then I could scroll my feed and share like things of that nature right here. Um, you know, I could definitely have that on here and then you could always just hit the stop button right here then when you go to your gallery on this phone you're going to have that inside of it so i definitely think that's pretty cool that you have that screen sharing option it's going to have that saved in the gallery um, for your um, right here screenshots and then i have my screen sharing in there as well screen recorder so the video is going to be here as well so i definitely think that's pretty cool but not only did they put hidden space on here with the two fingers, you also get app locker. So you, you, in addition to that, you get like app locker. So all you have to do is go down 
Okay, so that's gonna be in utilities right here. You go to app locker and you can, it's actually password protected. You enter your password. And then right here, you can add um, different um, apps to here. And you could actually hide the notification content. So I think that's pretty nuts. Now, if you go to gestures and um, buttons right here, you're gonna be able to get the gestures right here for the three buttons, the custom buttons, and then the navigation bar, quick gestures right here. Now this one is pretty sick because you can draw a clock. I, I, I have shortcuts to different apps based on what shape I draw. So for the Spotify one, I drew an S and then I'm able to get to my Spotify with that. I got to put my fingerprint in. Then it opens up my Spotify app from the lock screen. And then I have like a V1 for um, this app right here. Um, Google for the voice. V for voice and then for I, for I put M let me see what what I put M for um, messages and then I put O for like the clock because it's like the shape, shape of a clock so I think those are actually pretty cool right there now this one doesn't have a dedicated Google Assistant button but you can reconfigure the buttons around uh, you can click this one and get to the Google Assistant, but if you wanted to switch that to just get to the power button, um, I want to show you how to do that right now. So not only can you long hold the top button and the power button to turn off the device, but you can turn off the device through settings when you go into the device right here, and it has the power off option, and you can hit that, but then it'll just turn off the device from there. Another thing that's really important is if you go into the settings on this device so you can see your battery percentage, what you want to do is go into status um, of the device. So I'm going to show you how to see that right now, but it's going to be under the status option. So basically what you want to do, go ahead on over to display and then go down where it says status bar. And then right here, you can actually show your battery percentage on the top but that kind of gives me anxiety. So what I like to do is just, you could change it to a circle and you could change it to hidden. Uh, I, I don't know why you would want to hide it, but the circle is pretty cool. And so is the, this one, I just leave it at that one. But um, you can see you have it on minutes, seconds, things of that nature. Uh, and then um, you can also leave it at this if you wanted to see the percentage. Now, if you want to change the buttons around, on from here and make just just the power button and not the Google Assistant button. You want to go into buttons and gestures and then go to quick gestures. And then what you want to do is you can either turn on three three finger screenshot as well. But um, you're gonna have the option to change your button right here where it says double click the power button. You can ask Alexa or Google. Or if you click here, you can double click and change the power button on here for the press and hold. Um, so you can always change that option if you want it, if you didn't want that to be um, just locked into those options. Now, this is probably the coolest part. You go right here into customization and it gives you the option to tailor everything from the accent colors to the tone and the um, Oh, wow, I like that red one. Let me see, save. You can change the tone as well. So um, right here, it gives you a few options. Uh, you could change the icon packs as well. Download some more from the Play Store. You could even adjust the fonts if you do so desire, as well as the system icon shapes. So there's just a variety of different things that you can mess around with, as well as the clock styles and the wallpapers, which is actually pretty cool. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Yeah, that one looks kind of old school. Now, just to that, you can actually adjust the um, the way that your, your, your keyboard looks, and it's pretty simple. All you would have to do is go into your settings one more time, and um, what you wanna do is click this option where it says uh, language and input. So I'm trying to find that on here. Okay, here it is, language and input. And you go right here where you see that it says the G board, click the G board preferences. Then you go right here into themes where you can customize the G board 
with a variety of different themes to choose from. And then you can show more. It'll keep showing you more until all the options are up. But there's just a large, you know, variety of different options that you can change the keyboard to. Another thing you might want to do is add the watermark to your camera. So you can easily go ahead and do that in the settings. Just go down, go to watermark, turn that on. So whenever you take a photo, it'll tell you that it was shot on your new OnePlus device, which is a triple camera system. Now this phone does optimize the charging for you. If you're in charging for battery, it's going to have that right here. So you can turn that on and it'll optimize charging pattern according to the usage of your habits to reduce the battery load and to extend the battery life. Now, if you feel like you're using your phone too much and you want to reduce the usage time, it does have Zen mode right here, which is going to help you with that. I think that's pretty cool. But Zen mode will basically um, help you. Um, it'll lower the distra distractions. You can take a break from your phone and, and look up and gaze at life and you'll get less distractions. You put it on for 20 minutes, 30 minutes to an hour. And basically, it'll basically it cancels out incoming calls temporarily, phone calls, apps, and things of that nature. Now in system, they have something called RAM Boost, which actually optimizes the RAM utilization based on your usage. By learning the usage of your device, RAM Boost can predict apps to launch and data to load, taking full advantage of the RAM capacity to speed up the daily performance. Now, another thing that's pretty cool is whenever you access like a game on your device, it's going to take you to the gaming mode right here and what's pretty cool is that you can enter it and it has this option called fanatic mode which will basically do advanced dnd &D from all blocks on calls notifications um, alarms timers and basically enhance process regular uh, re regularly or regular regulator so it has a network enhancement, which basically strengthens um, prioritized gameplay and makes it stronger. And you can answer phone calls with your speaker and you can hide that whenever you're playing. But I think that's actually pretty cool that you get that option now. Oh, there's a new update for Call of Duty Mobile. Let me go ahead and download that. Now, there's another cool feature inside of here called Android Auto. Or auto which i think is cool so what you would have to do is basically go into and it lets you connect your phone to your usb cable and your vehicle will be connected to the android auto compatible usb port basically giving you the option to use your phone uh, seamlessly with the android auto built right in so i think that's pretty cool now the audio on this device is very capable and it has a really good audio settings in this device so if you were to go to sounds or something of that nature so you could check out the audio what you're going to do is go into settings go into uh, sounds right here and you're going to be able to see that it has some pretty decent um, settings in here the the Dirac audio tuner which is going to give you the option to adjust your audio quality as you see fit. You have dynamic music and you do a movie. I think that's pretty cool. It adjusts the volume to switch between media output sources automatically. Uh, so, uh, and then you get earphone mode, which will also, if you're listening to earphones, it'll answer calls for the Bluetooth when those do come in. And do you have autoplay, which will resume automatically when your buds are connected so those are some pretty cool options you also do get absolute bluetooth absolute volume which will auto sync the uh device's volume when your device is connected to the bluetooth as well and finally you get a night mode and a reading mode built right in one of these is going to be good for people who like to read books this is the reading mode you get the chromode chr chromatic effect which is going to just the, the light of the screen to be more usable for your eyes and you do get the other effect as well too so they give you that um you can always get this one or you can get the mono effect which is a little bit like black and white all, all around but um you can turn that on and it gets the mono effect there as well 
and then just the regular night mode is for when the when the phone is just when it's just getting night and this is has to do with your melatonin and your sleep patterns and things of that nature you can go over to night mode and that will help you with eye strain and sleeping so that your eyes can adjust to regular daytime light and nighttime light naturally but hopefully you did find this video helpful in any way possible it's your boy serrano if you're new to the crew subscribe if you're already part of the crew salute you the real one for staying locked in with me i'll get right back with you later crew peace